Food security is not just about how much food is produced, but also the quality of that food and its nutritive value. And in this theme, we're interested in the, the phytochemicals or the food bioactives, particularly in plant-based foods that seem to be important in helping us to maintain and improve our health. And these are, are compounds which are very prevalent in fruit and vegetables, but they also occur in other foods. And we're interested in measuring how much they are in fresh fruit and vegetables and in processed foods how our body absorbs them and metabolizes and excretes them. But most importantly, we're interested in how these chemicals affect our physiological processes to, to maintain our health. So in, in this theme, we, we're really mainly concerned with three different types of compounds. We're interested in, in flavonoids. And these compounds are very prevalent in all sorts of fruit and vegetables and, and also in cereal crops. And there's lots of evidence now that these may be affecting our cardiovascular system. And we're now doing experimental research to show that if you consume diets with a sufficient amount of these compounds or sufficient types of flavonoids, they keep our, our, our vascular system and our heart healthy. The second group of compounds we've got a lot of work on are, are compounds called glucosinolates and these are just restricted to the cruciferous vegetables and those things like cabbages and cauliflowers and Brussels sprouts and broccoli. And we have a, quite a lot of work on these and, and in here we're interested, they may also impart in cardiovascular disease but we're particularly interested in how they may help to reduce the incidence and progresses of some cancers. And in, in this theme, we have a particular interest in, in prostate cancer. A third group of compounds we're interested in are the, the N3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. And the long chain ones are kind of commonly called fish oils. And a, again, we have work in trying to understand why these compounds seem to be particularly good in helping us maintain our health, not just in cardiovascular, but also our, our, our cognitive health. So our impact comes in, in several different ways. Of course, uh, a major output of our research is uh, publishing it in the scientific literature. This is read by scientists and academics all over the world. But our, our impact is much greater. We work closely with the food industry. We're helping to develop new fresh and processed products, which we hope will impart greater health benefits. And we're working very closely with the industry to give the best possible scientific evidence for those health benefits. We work with a number of charities where maybe dealing with, with people who've got certain conditions and we're helping to give dietary advice through those charities. And then of course we're also dealing with policy advisors in the government to give general advice to the general consumer. And the five-a-day message is well known and we're hoping to be able to refine that message to give even better quality advice.